weight gain in menopause. In fact, approximately 70% of women are going to have some amount of weight gain as a symptom of menopause. And this is going to apply to women who both struggled with their weight before they started going through menopause and women who didn't struggle with their weight at all prior to menopause they potentially can gain weight as they go through this life transition. And on average, we're seeing approximately 1.5 pound gain per year. And if a woman goes through this for a period of 10 years, well, that's a pretty easy 15 pounds that they might gain over that period of time. Now, the reason why weight gain occurs during menopause is really multifactorial, but one of the main things that's happening at the biological level is we're getting a flux in three hormones, or a flux where things kind of go up and down, but eventually things are just going to start declining, and that's gonna be in three hormones, progesterone, estrogen, and testosterone. As the level of these hormones change in the female body, what's gonna end up happening is we're gonna see changes in fat distribution across the body, we're gonna see mood changes, sleep disturbance, disturbances, increases in fatigue, as well, we can see an increase in an individual's appetite. And for many women, this is going to feel pretty darn overwhelming. You're probably going to feel like you're losing control over your body, and now you're also gaining weight even though you've changed nothing else in your lifestyle. And certainly there's going to be some individuals out there that are going to say, well, this is just a part of life and, and you should just accept it and just allow it to be. And I can assure you that every single woman out there is fully aware of this fact. They are fully aware that they are eventually going to go through this life transition. But saying dumb things like that really doesn't help the experience and the things that they're going to go through. Further, gaining weight and having other body composition changes where say we get more fat distributed around the abdomen area, well, that can have a negative effect on a woman's health. And so while it is a part of life, it is still something that we need to support women with. And of course, a common question that I get is, can drugs like Ozempic, Wagovi, Zepbound, and what have you help with this process? Can it help with the weight gain that we see during menopause? And hey, if you're enjoying my content and getting something out of it, and maybe you'd like to learn a little bit more about how you can manage your weight during menopause, well, you should probably hit that subscribe button down below and turn on the notifications so that you never miss out on another video when I put it out. As well, check out the OG members membership side of my YouTube channel. Every single month I do an OG members only live where I talk about a variety of different obesity and weight management topics. As well, I answer all of your burning questions and concerns in real time. So you definitely want to check it out. Sign up today so you never miss out. So can a drug like Wagovi or Zepbound help us to manage an individual's weight as they're going through menopause? Unfortunately, there hasn't been a whole pile of research in this area asking this specific question and looking at trying to find the answer. What we do know is that a number of the big studies that were done with Wagovi and Zepbound in looking at their weight loss benefits did include a number of women that were going to be in this age range menopausal life transition period and we did see quite an effect and response with these medications. Wagovi on average leading to about a 15% weight loss from, um, from baseline and Zepbound leading to about a 21% weight loss from baseline. So it is pretty safe to assume not only from that data, but also from my anecdotal experience that these medications can certainly help women that are going through this life transition and help them to manage their weight. We just don't have a specific randomized controlled trial or even a sub-analysis looking at this particular population. But I do have another study to share. And in fact, Hurtado and friends completed a retrospective chart review trying to look at this specific question. And so what they did in this trial is they basically went back in time, they looked at a series of medical records, and they pulled out all the women that were kind of in that menopause transition period and were struggling with obesity. They then looked at the women that were taking semaglutide, aka Ozempic, aka Uagovi. And from there, they then split the women into two groups. They looked at the groups of women that were taking semaglutide plus hormone therapy and women that were taking semaglutide and not on hormone therapy and compared the weight loss results of those two groups. The overall premise of this study here was that they figured semaglutide was going to provide a benefit in terms of weight management. They wanted to see if the addition of hormone replacement therapy that some women will go on as they're going through menopause will then provide additional benefit on top of the semaglutide. 
And as an FYI, hormone replacement therapy is going to be things like estradiol or estrogen patches or progesterone. It's going to be different woman to woman and based on the symptoms that you're having and the clinician that you're working with. So what exactly did they find? Well, in total, they identified 106 individuals that were going through menopause, they had obesity, and they were on semaglutide. Further dividing things down, 16 of those women were on hormone replacement therapy, and the other 90 were not. They were just taking the semaglutide alone. And a majority of the women in this trial were on doses of semaglutide upwards of 1.7 to 2.4 milligrams once per week. So that's very much into the Wagovi dosage range of things at the upper end that we would use that medication at. And overall, we got some pretty darn interesting results. In this graph right here, we have the total percent of weight loss from baseline in the two groups. We have the hormone-based group in the dark blue, and we have the non-hormone-based group in the light blue. As you can see, the group that was on semaglutide plus hormones lost more weight, on average about 16% weight loss from baseline, and the other group only lost approximately 12.4% weight from baseline. Therefore, it looks like hormones plus semaglutide is quite effective and more effective at helping an individual to lose weight as they're going through this transition period. And not only that, they saw in both groups an improvement in things like cholesterol levels, blood sugar levels and other markers of potential cardiovascular disease and things that may be associated with obesity. And hey, if you're looking for a tool to support you on your weight management journey, then you should definitely check out the links down below, input your email, and you can get my seven day food journal. Now, what's different about this journal is it's not just about tracking the food, it's about tracking your emotions and feelings before and after a meal. How do you feel before a meal? How do you feel after a meal? Are you stuffed, overstuffed? Are you 80% full? What are all the other important things that are included in when we're eating and such like that? It takes those things into account to provide us a greater amount of insight to really help us not only manage our weight, but improve our relationship with food. So if you think that might be of interest to you, then definitely check the link out down below, input your email, and hey, you're gonna help to grow my subscriber list, which also makes me feel pretty darn good. So while it does look like semaglutide plus hormone therapy is a more effective modality in terms of managing your weight as you're going through menopause, we got to be pretty careful with these results. And the reason being is that this was a pretty small group of women, so only about 106 individuals. It was a retrospective chart review, so we were going back in time, and the authors weren't able to control for all the various confounding things that might be apparent, including differences in the patient populations and health person bias and all that kind of stuff. There's a lot of things that could be affecting the overall results. Further, we got to look at the actual size of the two groups. With the group that was on hormones plus the semaglutide, there was only 16 people compared to 90 in the other group. When we have fewer people in a group, that's ultimately going to have a greater effect on our overall results, and one individual doing really well, so the outliers, can have a much more substantial effect on the overall results and ultimately bias things and make them look better than what they actually are. Now, despite the shortcomings of this trial, what I think we can take away is that semaglutide, aka Ozempic, aka Wagovi, certainly can help with weight management with this population as they're going through menopause. And hormone therapy may or may not provide additional benefit. We really would need a much bigger trial and much more data to really kind of, I think, make any further inferences in that regard. Now, there are a couple of caveats that we do need to be mindful of with this population. You see, women that are going through menopause are at a greater risk of things like muscle loss and bone loss. And drugs like Wagovi and Zepbound can potentially worsen muscle loss, which could potentially worsen bone loss. And a loss of bone could lead to things like osteoporosis and increase things like fractures and an individual or a woman's fragility. Therefore, if a woman is going to be using these medications to help them to manage their weight, they need to be sure that they're eating plenty of protein, more so than what they would have when they were younger, to not only maintain, but potentially to grow new muscle tissue. 
as well. I highly recommend that they are engaging in resistance training, whether that's lifting weights, using resistance bands. I really don't care, but you need to put those muscles under load to help strengthen them and to help strengthen your bones. Really, the more muscle mass that you can preserve and maintain, the healthier you are going to be later on and the greater chance of you preventing risky things like osteoporosis and falls and such like that. And as a quick pro tip, if you are a woman that is not going through menopause yet and you're not doing some kind of resistance training, I would recommend you get on it immediately in order to help mitigate many of these potential things. And hey, it's actually going to probably help you to manage your weight more easily as you go through menopause. So that is it and that is all my friends. What we can conclude here is that weight gain is definitely a symptom that can occur with menopause. As well, drugs like Wagovi may help with managing your weight as you're going through menopause, plus or minus hormone therapy. However, there are caveats. You do need to make sure that you're eating plenty of protein and maintaining as much lean muscle tissue as you can to not only maintain your weight, but to also prevent further future health complications. And as I always talk about these medications, they're not a quick fix. They're not just gonna take away that weight and then you can just be on your way. These are going to be a long-term solution that are gonna help you to manage your weight. So I hope you enjoyed this video. As always, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well check out the OG members membership side of my YouTube channel where every month I do a live with the OG members talking about a variety of weight management topics as well answering your burning questions and concerns in real time further don't forget to go to the link down below to download my seven day food journal as well check me out on my other channels at the official Dr. Dan I'm on the tick the talk the gram you name it and I am out there and as I always like to sign these things off I want to remind you that it's going to be those small tweaks that lead to those massive peaks.